Well, what's your story? Everybody's got a story. Your job is to play a part in someone's story. That's what we have to do. And no matter what the issue is, there's another side to the story. And they always say in court, there's three sides, you know, your side, her side, and the truth, or his side. You know, is that bird tweeting me? <laughs> I have a bird whispering. This, this bird is giving me the cue in my ear, saying, okay, wrap it up. Give it a rattles wrap. Hurry up now, come on. <laughs> All right, I got pictures here that I want to uh, show you. The uh, latest news is the most, the sexiest man alive in People Magazine, and you know who that is, right? You know who won? Who was it? Come on, you know who it was? Michael Jordan, that's right. Now, uh, since we have all these uh, things with the sexual acting out and the, oh, I think the Pope ought to be the the, the, the winner next year. Or if they, if they go into the cross, uh, cross dressing and transsexual and gender changing and everything, the sexiest man alive should be Dolly Parton or Gail King, because we need color. See, color has become an issue, and I don't know why, except, let's see, look at the contradiction. First of all, we have Aunt Jemima, see? And we say, oh, well, you know, that's, that's no good. That defames us. Yet, today, we have wrap snacks. Uncle Jemima. But my whole idea is to have true grits and be a Quaker. <laughs> the the nitty-gritty. <laughs> I told you that the uh, Amish say about the selection, when they look at the votes in Pennsylvania and they see Trump, they say, thou sucks. But that's a political statement. The other thing that's coming up here is this, uh, this push on, on, on CBS television. They, they seem to want to be the black network. They own BET, which is a black network. They even have a show on marijuana tonight which is going to show how unfair the black people have been treated with the uh, with marijuana by being imprisoned for distributing and for using drugs and marijuana and how the white people have profited from from the black people's mistakes of being becoming dealer. They want to blame white people for for the black crimes now. I mean this is so this has gotten so repulsive because we're all one, one nation. And that's why you got a guy like Biden who's trying to bring everybody together. You know, he may even pardon Trump for all the things that he did with his uh, $70,000 haircut. <laughs> I mean, we're, we are absurd. We're absurd. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. Everybody is taking this moment that they have and they're fighting for whatever they want to have, whatever their cause is, whatever their, whatever's inside of them because they know they can get away with it right now. You know, when you when there were when there were ways that you could not promote something, it didn't get promoted unless you hired a PR firm and then you had to play the game. I did a thing on uh, yesterday on on uh, who are they? I don't know if you remember that. Who are they? Who are they? Who are the people that make everything happen? Who who are the ones that make it happen? They're called the they. They did this. They did that. Who are who are they? And and now I see that there's going to be a podcast that's on iHeartRadio. I think. Uh, from a guy who's going to name who they are and how they got to where they are. <laughs> See, I'm I'm on time. I'm on time, but you know my age is uh, is defeating the whole principle because well, first of all, they they want to hire people who are new and young, and uh, they figure that if you have young people on TV or on the air on the radio, then they're going to bring other young people, and they think that young people can relate more to young people which is probably good, but it's a little limited. I mean, you only know so much and you can only give so much of what, you, you only know so much in life and you can only give what you know, unless you're extremely gifted. <laughs> and there are, there are some. Uh, I, can main, I can name some who are up there that don't belong there, but that's my opinion. And we all have that, we all have opinions. You know, America's filled with uh, ideas, opinions, imagination, with uh, bitching. We're good at that one. Uh, the other side of the story, we know that one real well. Uh, we're, we're good. We're good. You know, uh, America's got, uh, we got it figured out. We know how to get away with shit. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> the rest of the world is in awe. They're going, how they, how come they can do that? How, why can't we do that? How do they get, how do they get there? How do they get that? Well, I'll tell you, it's real simple. We have a mix. See, this is the only country on the planet that has everybody else's country. <laughs> you didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> we're, we're the ones that we take in everybody. You know, the Statue of Liberty is tired. <laughs> Give me your everything. Give me whatever you got, bring it here. This is the great garbage can of the world and the great dumping ground for uh, the planet. Did you know that? Well, rethink it. <laughs> uh, think about that on the way home after you, uh, after, after you heard me say all these things. See, this is an amazing country because we have everybody else's stuff and the other countries don't. They don't take in everybody. They take in their own kind and they keep their own kind as a rule. What, are there any other countries like us? I can't think of one. Australia may be close, but not. Nobody does what we do. Nobody has this kind of uh, open door policy. Even Canada's got a little connection to the apron string of the Queen. Uh, we don't have any of that here. We we got rid of all of it. Never. We have a cleansing process here. It's called poverty. When you are poor, you go to job and you uh, make money. And if you get real rich, nobody bothers you. But if you start to steal, you go to jail. And if you uh, are rich and you go to jail, you can pay a lawyer and get out of jail. Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> you can escape everything with money and a lawyer. <laughs> you can do nothing without having PR, public relations. And you need to have relationships. You need to have somebody who is championing your cause. We're back to lawyers, aren't we? Okay, that's it. That's a Reynolds wrap. That's today's lesson. <laughs> the garbage can. America.